Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. I want to talk about something exciting been with for the past couple of days now, and that is the chat GPT. I'm sure if you've been on YouTube for some time now, you probably have been seeing this. People have been making posts about how chat GPT can be used for a whole lot of things, including writing codes, generating ideas for your blogs or writing ebook and all sort of crazy things. So I thought, you know, let me see if I can do the same with PowerShell since I use PowerShell daily in my job to do all sorts of things. I thought, you know, let me try this with PowerShell and see how it works out. And so far I've been pretty impressed with the results. I'm just going to show you uh, a couple of things that you can do with this. And to get to the chat GPT website, you just need to go sign up. It's currently free. I'm sure it's not going to be free for too long, but you can get to it by going to chat.openai.com forward slash chat. And if you already have like a Google account or Microsoft account, you can actually use that to sign up. So you don't have to create a new email address with them. That's what I did. And uh, as you can see, these are some of the stuff that I already asked the engine and it provided me with very nice results. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and try the same thing so that you guys can see the power of these AI. I'm going to go ahead and paste the, uh, what I wrote earlier, which is to write a PowerShell function to get distribution list members and save the results in CSV file. I'm sure if you are an, an Office 365 admin or an AD admin or something, this is something that is very common for people to ask about. Let's go ahead and try it again and see if we get the same result that I got the last time. Here it goes. As you can see, it's doing the command layer binding here, which is pretty great. The list name, which is the distribution list name and the CSV path. These are the two parameters that it's asking us to enter when we are about to call the function. All right. It's even going to the line to tell me how to actually call the function and what parameters to pass to it. Now, let me show you what it showed me earlier. And this is the result that I got earlier. That means you, you can get different results depending on, you know, what the AI is thinking at the time. But the result that it gave me earlier is this, which is a lot more powerful than the shorter one that I got just now. Both of them will work just fine, but this one I found to be more walkable in terms of real life scenario, because you want to build this for each loop in order to specify what attributes you want to pass in, in order to get that information out of the directory or Azure, if you use, if you're querying Azure for this. So, but this is exchange that we're querying in pretty much exchange online that you can use this for, you can use this also for Engine on prime because you use the same guest distribution list member command. So, and this is the one that it showed me earlier, and this is a lot more powerful. And the same thing, it tells me exactly how to run this. In order for us to see how this works, I'm just going to copy this one because I like this one a little bit better. And I'm going to, I think I already pasted this result in my PowerShell session. Here we go. This is exactly what the AI generated. And this is how you call the function. So I created a distribution group in my test tenant, which I'm going to go get right now. This is a group called IT users. I'm going to pass that into the script just to see if the script actually works. Obviously, you must have connected to Exchange already uh, before you can run the script. I'm going to change that to from marketing team to this group. And I'm also going to make sure that I have the temp folder in my C drive right here. And I think that's all we need to change at this time. Also already log into PowerShell, connect to Exchange Online. And if you don't know how to connect to Exchange Online, I believe you can ask the AI also. PowerShell code 
to connect to exchange online. Let's see what it does. So it's telling us here that we need to install the Exchange Online Management module first, and we can use Get Credentials to get our credentials and pass it on to it. <laughs> this is really great because you can literally copy this right now and paste it into PowerShell and you'll be able to connect to Exchange Online. And it's even telling us that you need to have the correct permission. This means that you must be a global administrator or user with an exchange administrator role. This is also very powerful. It tells you exactly what roles you need in order for you to be able to run Connect Exchange Online. So if you didn't know how to connect to Exchange Online, this is exactly how you would do that. And let's go ahead and run this now. I'm just going to run it exactly as they have it here. Let's. Okay, immediately we're already getting error. Let's see what's going on. Immediately I already see an error and this might be because when I was asking the, the AI, I specifically tell it to get a distribution list. So it uses this command called get distribution list, but there's no such command in, in PowerShell. There's get distribution group. Let's try that again. Let's, let's tell it to get a distribution to see if we actually the correct answer, right? PowerShell function to get distribution group members and save the results in a CSV file. I'm going to see if he's actually going to use get distribution group this time, or if he's still going to stick with get distribution list. So he's writing the code now. Notice how it's using distribution group as, as the name here. Let's see if it's going to get it right. <laughs> and he did get it right. This time he has get distribution group in there. So it's giving out the same information. He's actually going even to more length this time as any function as you already have connected to Exchange Online using Connect Exchange Online commandlet. I think this is a lot more detailed this time and he actually got the commandlet right. So I'm going to copy the code one more time and I'm going to go in there. And this, this tells us that a lot of the things that the AI will give you back is actually basically based on your input. If you Give it crappy input, it's gonna give it crappy output. Essentially. Let's uh, go ahead and run it again. I'm gonna run selection here so that I have these correctly here. And I'm going to change this back to the one that we run earlier. I think the name is IT users. That's US. So let's run that again and see what happens. All right, look like where the error is coming from is actually when it's about to get a distribution group member. Let's go ahead and look at the script and see if it's, this is right. It's saying here that get distribution group member identity equals group. Okay. There's also a little bit of error here as well. So the way to correct this is that you can just pass the whole thing, the whole group object into the identity. You need to tell PowerShell exactly what you're passing through. In this case, you're supposed to pass either the name or the ID. I'm just going to add dot ID here so that 
he knows that we are passing the group ID so in order to get the members. So we're going to try that one more time and see if it works this time. All right. Look like it's already done. So let's see if we actually generate this marketing team members. I, I forgot to change the name here, but you get it just. So let's go to temp and let's open up the results. Okay. This actually worked. This is the list of users in the members in the, the members of the group. If we go to the tenant and we look at the members, these are the same set of people that are in that group. Johanna, Henrietta, Grady, Diego, Isaiah. And if we go to the list here, yeah, this is the same set of people. So that this tells us that, you know, the AI may not be perfect because there's some little, little things that it's not getting right, but it gives you the framework that you need. And also this is something that can easily be corrected. If you already know PowerShell, it's still important to know the program that you're writing in order for you to be able to troubleshoot the issue yourself. And this is the perfect example of that. If I didn't know anything about PowerShell, I wouldn't know that I need to add dot id here in you know, order to get the group id and the other thing that i'm going to say is that initially when we tell it to get the distribution list it was using get distribution list commandlet which does not exist the only commandlet that exists for that is get distribution group and get distribution group member it was trying to run get distribution list and it wasn't working i hope this video is very informative for you you can go ahead and give Cat GPT also works on Prime. You can see if it works out for you. I know I'm going to be using this quite a bit just to write less overall. I hate writing. This is perfect for me. Get me started and then I can edit it as I go. If you have any questions about this, drop me a like or a comment. Thank you and have a great day.